awesome episode of Gothic Leo is Professor M. I'm Professor M. And today I'm going to be tackling that question I've received many times on my YouTube channel. Please share with us about corporate goth. Well, as you might have already found out that I'm one of the goth influencers who love fashion. We have six different branches of gothology and music is a very vital part of the gothic subculture. And the second most important one, fashion. And I really, really, really revel in gothic fashion, whether it be dark aesthetics or just the makeup and the way that we style each other. And a very important element is for me to get out of this very luxurious and very inviting Victorian goth wear, and I'll be slipping into something more casual to begin my talk. What do you think? Black t-shirts? How many do you own? Don't ask. Okay, so I have to share with you something very important. If you work for a corporation or some company or want to join the corporate goth world, the very important question to ask is, what can I wear to work and how far can I go? And that's always what all goths want to know. Well, it depends on your corporation. You need to ask and find out how far you can go, what type of makeup you can wear, what type of jewelry you can wear. Do you have any tattoos? Can you show them? Do you have any body modifications? Can you show them? Those are important things only you can ask your director of your company to see if you can go up to the line but not cross over it. That is a very very, very important question to ask. For myself, I could wear black every single day at my job. And no one would blink an eye at it because black is a very elegant color. So today I'm going to be showing you some shirts from my collection, some pants from my collection. And again, the triad of black, white, and red and I'm going to also show you the complete look and how to dress them so let's go into that shall we for my first look I want to demonstrate to you is the black on black on black look most people would say ah oh, you're just dressing up to be an undertaker yes exactly but I could wear this to work and no one would blink an eye because it's very very fashionable and add black shoes and a black overcoat on this. I'll be demonstrating the first look. So with that now being said, let's change this up a little bit more. You can actually take this off and change the tie. My favorite color, red of course. Let's do it. One can never have enough ties. Going from my darkest until my lightest, these are the shades of red that I have. Starting off with the dark cranberry red oxblood colors all the way up to the more vivid ones. You can choose any one of these to create a really cool look. Now since I'm a Victorian goth, I really love Damask, which is right here. And we're going to be dressing into that today. black vest. And if you're like me and you love velvet, this is a men's pinstriped velvet jacket. I want to talk about getting compliments. 
your workplace. I sure do. If you're a Victorian goth, you'll love this. So let's now change up. Let's add some more pinstripes and a little bit more red. If you are a really big, big Adams Family fan, you will die for these Gomez Adams pinstripe pants straight from the romance of Morticia and Gomez from the crypt. Adding in a solid black silk tie, boom, you got a really cool sinister look. Taking this look to a whole new avenue. So you're bringing this to work. Sweet. Take off the first layer. Vest. Show those pinstripes. Make sure everyone sees them. Go for a more relaxed look. No problem. Roll up the sleeves. Just once. I love wearing my clothes as dark as I can to the office. And if you're a big fan of ox blood red or any of the wine reds like this, this shirt is really, really, really cool. This is from the Camino collection in Italy and it is as dark red as I could find. And then if you wanted to couple it with even a darker red tie, this look is really an eye catcher. Go minimum. So let's change this up. Incredible mixture of three pieces I have again and bring you back the black jeans, a shirt from Shanghai Tong, which is silk. It's got the Mandarin design on there and my black belt, and I'm gonna throw in this $5 jacket I got at a thrift store. Fit black jacket. Very formal, very sweet to wear to work. Be a good day at the office. And this really cool look to show you today. The black jeans, a really thick, heavy black knitted sweater from Germany with wooden buttons on it. Silk shirt with the damask pattern on it. And that tie to tie it all together. Tell me this is not one of the coolest sweaters I've ever seen. The top is off. I'd add a jacket. For those who like things like this, this is a faux fur leather jacket that I picked up in the United States. You can wear it this way or reversible. Which is more my style anyways.
Now, at the end of my video, I've been asked, what do you do for a living? Well, hint, hint. My profession is in my name. Gothically yours, Professor M.